I'm FM. I'm Becca. And today we're going to be reviewing Into the Badlands. Yay! Season three? Episode two. Two. <laughs> I be it's all one movie for me because I oh binge God, watched I over the weekend and then just uh, binge watched the rest today. Yeah, just yeah. hours and hours of kung fu, <laughs> magic, and blood, <laughs> splatterhouse. Blood everywhere. For me, overall, for the series so far, I really like the costumes. Oh my god, I know. We have already, we have like a whole cosplay. We went and got patterns today. We at did. Joanne's. And we are ready to cosplay the crap out of Into the Badlands. Yeah, yeah. You're going to dress as the widow. Yes. And then I'm going to dress as Tilda. Tilda. And then the butterflies. But every time they introduce a new character and a new cast, they are wearing some kind of cool new awesome outfit. And it's like, oh, I'd like I to gotta make say, that. I got to say, yeah, we're, we're constantly like, oh, cool fight scene. Oh, cool outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be making some outfits and then wearing them on future reviews. Yeah. This episode, the one thing that we just kept on trying to figure out was who, what was it, Casita? Is that her name? Pilgrim's right hand girl? We couldn't, like, we were like, okay, is she, she the one witch? of the masters? Is she the, is master? she the witch? Is she also and a. What are they calling them now? The black eyed. She was like, don't yeah. feel bad for the black eyed children. They all yeah, they die all like quickly. Short lives. I was like, hey, it wasn't should we just have a name for them? Like, yeah. It's supernatural they'd be I'm demons. Sure there is. We just don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> like we never remember the names. I'm shocked that I remembered Casita. But she did say finally when we heard the signal. So we know that they're the ones that heard. Uh, Baji. Was it? Baji. Yeah, they're the ones that heard. I forgot this name. This is we're terrible with names. Baji signal. And how excited am I that he's alive? I know. You know at the end of the last season, I was like. He's one of my favorite characters. Oh my god, I know. Him and Sunny. I was like, yeah. I want them both to be alive. Mm -hmm. I was super bummed that Sunny's woman died, though. I was like, ah man, like they just they had the one kiss. I this know. show has a serious lack of making out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, where's they that? They had the one kiss this last episode, <laughs> but it was like a weird mother-son kiss. Yeah, this episode like, had that weird Yeah, I'm just blood like blood and mm -hmm. the night. Oh, and the hooks. <laughs> What the hell kind of gross shit is happening? I don't want to see that. Ooh. Oh. Why? Why would they even have that in this show? That was so gross. Oh. I had to totally... <laughs> Look away! And I'm all like... Ew. I feel like I have to do that in a lot of shows. So I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really cool that Tilda has her own, like, what are they called? Rabbits? Jackrabbits? <laughs> I can't remember what They're basically called. like um, Robin Hood, right? Yeah. With the cool mask, and their outfits are really yeah, cool. Yeah, would you with say the, teal like hoods. the Mortal Kombat mask? <laughs> yes! <gasps> Finish him! <laughs> like Sub Zero. It's Sub Zero, I think, and then Scorpion. I have to relook really up those or names. Kind of, I was gonna say, kind of like Shredder, too, in. Um, yeah! In mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Totally. <laughs> but the, that was the first thing I thought was like, Mortal Kombat! <laughs> <laughs> but to think like Tilda would be in Mortal Kombat and she'd be like, punish yeah, be him. Awesome. That would be great. <laughs> More female characters in video games. Sam is forever. We kind of felt like this this episode was sort of like a reunion because you got Sunny and Baji and then Tilda and then Lydia and they're all kind of in the same refugee camp. Mm -hmm. And then the guy that they fought in the Badlands whose arm they took. Nathaniel? Nathaniel. And you're just wrong, throwing sorry. them all kind of in scenes together and having them dance yeah. around. I'm wondering where that, it's Jade, right? The Jade character is um, the wife of Quinn, the second son. wife and right. the son. Because he just let her go. Oh, did he? I don't remember. Yeah, because he was like, take her to the end of the land and see how far she gets oh. or whatever. So she's still out there. I don't even remember that. I thought she died. Damn it. I don't want nah, that. They, they have to show a character die in this show yeah. for that. I guess I imagined it in my head. <laughs> I, and a uh, note on last season, why didn't they just behead Quinn? Oh my god, I know. Like I he mean, stabbed him on. twice and he was like, good enough. I'm like, yeah, that guy Take survives brain tumors and like stabs and Take like whatever. You got it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a vampire thing. You know what? Get Buffy in there. <laughs> Buffy would have just cut Quinn's head off. She'd have cut Thanos' head off. What's sad is so would Sunny. And he didn't. 
It was just mm -hmm. so they could kill his so wife. Lame. They just wanted to kill her off. That's lame. So the other thing that initially we thought was really lame because uh, we both have an aversion to anytime they have like a drug addiction plot line. I'm just so sick of that trope. It's done over and over and over again. But this time, they actually, like, we were kind of annoyed by it, but then it, they used it for the yeah. drug trip vision, almost death, getting my black eye powers back. Yeah. So, so suicide we thing. We were like, so all right. They, they, they were like, we need something that's similar to that, like, smoke paper thing. <laughs> the master. Yeah. So that's one thing, though, that obviously we don't know yet is the master's vision of him killing his mom alive or is Sonny killing his mom alive? Both of one happened in a tent, the other right. one happened outside. They're two totally different locations. Is, so which one's which, which, which one, one is which one is real? Yeah, and we don't know what the heck with these real. visions. Why is he even having them? Why the whole the, it would have been easy for him to still have that quest, I have to find my mom. But instead they're like, that's inconvenient now. We want him to just focus on Azura, maybe something else. So we're just gonna have the mom definitely killed. Maybe he killed the mom, maybe Sunny killed the mom, whatever we need to use to motivate the plot to go on. Right. It's just like they just should have had the, the mom still alive somewhere and him searching for her. Well, now Maybe she is. Well, we kind of feel like they don't know what they're doing with MK. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but we'll it's, see. everything seems a little forced at this point. The the drugs, the now Sonny's the killer, and like and now he's gonna confront him. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Just honestly not that interested. And he's he's like the dual protagonist to Sonny, so they really need to figure out what they're doing with MK. Uh, yeah. Because he was He's been such a powerhouse through the whole, you know, first two seasons, and now it does feel like they he don't know what to do with He was training in Narnia, yeah. and then now he's back, and he's like, I don't want to train, but I'm still skilled, but I'm drugged out, and we're kind of like... Yeah, you know what it is, actually, now that we're saying that? It feels like now that Sunny has a real baby, <laughs> like a real son, it's like they, they're drawing that connection. They don't know what the pseudo-son character, right, because they're like, he's no longer a father figure. In fact, he killed your mother. It's yeah. like some kind of weird Darth Vader twist. I don't yeah. I don't know if I like that yet. We'll see how it plays out. But uh, I still like Baji. I'm so glad he was alive. I was like, Baji. And he's like conning people. Yeah. But to find out that after he delivered the message from the scissors and he just waited, nothing happened. I get why he's like disillusioned. Yeah. But he always helps Sunny. Sunny always shows up and he's I like, I'm I need your close. help. <laughs> At the beginning of their relationship, he, Sunny refuses to ask him for help. I know. Refuses. That's true, and by that's the true. end of it, every 20 minutes, Sunny's like, But uh, I need I your don't. help. And, yeah. he, and Baji's just like, Jesus, with this guy. I and should he never have says revealed. No. I was going to say, I should never have revealed that I was a ninja master because <laughs> now you just want my help all the time. <laughs> Even before that, it's that's just true. like. <laughs> We're friends now. You help me. Help me. <laughs> he's just like, get this, get this warrior guy off of me. Until he sees Nathaniel, and he's like, all right, I'll go with you. <laughs> well, no, it's when it's when um, Sunny attacks um, Tilda, and he's like, hey, cool it. You know what? I'll go with you. It's okay. It's yeah, okay. he's a protective. But as soon as he saw yeah. Nathaniel, though, he's all like, no. <laughs> on the bicycle. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> we really gotta get out of here. But the great thing is, is Baji always says no. And he ends up helping everybody oh, yeah. anyway. I mean, he always like gets a little something for himself too, but he still ends up helping them. <laughs> I like that character. Me too. He's our favorite. <laughs> He's definitely. We have lots of, lots of love for uh, for Baji. <laughs> What's well, interesting the the way that they're arcing the widow, where she is using a lot of her people to win this war, yeah, and then she's still obsessed with you know unlocking the secrets of the book and all of that. And her motivation. It's kind of murky, kind of murky right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was always for the people, and now it's like, Lydia. do you really need that other half of the Badlands? Like, can't you just let them do their thing? Yeah. I mean, you have half. Just be like, hey, let's call a truce. You do it your way on your side. I do it my way on my yeah, side. Yeah, she's not helping anybody anymore. I mean, she sort of used to be the refugee camp, and now... Yeah, now there's a separate refugee Lydia. camp with Quinzex. Lydia. Which is interesting. Lydia. 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 She's, She's got a cool Quinn's arc. Name. We're so happy that he's dead. <laughs> I know. So but I just memorized it because it was like, Quinn, I know. Quinn, 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 how Quinn's not? dead. Quinn's yeah. alive. Quinn's killing his... Oh, when he killed his son, that was so sad. Yeah. Yeah, I cried during that moment. I haven't cried through the whole show, but that moment, I cried. 
cried. But they kind of went over it. It was like a really sad moment and then they moved on quickly. <laughs> like they always do with the deaths and Into the Badlands. <laughs> so that's it for Into the Badlands this week. We'll be reviewing it again next week, hopefully in cosplay if we finish yes. sewing in time. We're both writers. Uh, Becca has a channel that's mainly focused on writing, which you should totally check out because it's awesome. <laughs> and I have a channel that's mainly focused on uh, movie reviews and stuff right now. I'll do anime soon. We'll see. You should. I watch so much anime. Because then I can watch your reviews and then I'll know if I want to watch it or not. Crunchy <laughs> Anyway, well, tune in again and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Ready to play? Is he going to do the Matrix? I know, I was for him. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to, to Nerd. Nerd. I'm looking at Snake. I don't know what he's doing.